What is up everybody, Madcap here, and welcome back to the Plants vs. Zombies New Sunflower Challenge. We are on, I, I would consider this one of the dreaded levels, 4-9. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really have anything to say about this. Other than it's going to be really bad. Pogo zombies and balloon zombies. Uh, I mean, the good news is those, there's no other special things. We're gonna have to deal with bucket heads in the water. I, I'm not terribly concerned about them on land. I feel like I have plenty of stuff that can deal with that. But... Balloon and pogos... I don't know. I got nothing. I d <laughs> All I can do is this, this, and that's it. But as usual, we'll take our cheap redo things that I can afford, just because one never knows when something might come in handy, I suppose, right? Maybe a well-placed, uh, well-placed, I don't know, potato mine or... Walnuts might help us. <sighs> and I can only see four rows. Oh, boy. I don't remember if I got the rake on the right spot. I thought it was right here. But once again, I wasn't paying attention. Hmm. I mean, I guess there's no other strategy I can do other than hope, really. Right? And hope I will... All right, is it going to be kind to us on this first wave? Nope. All I hear is a balloon zombie so far. I don't think I hear a pogo stick. Okay. All right, row one. Oh God. The first and fifth rows. Oh, I hear a bucket head. Oh, crap. Where? Where Where are you? I can't see. Is it this one? It is. Oh, shoot. Okay. I have to try and stall him. Everything I've got has to go into stopping that bucket head. Because I can't... I put that behind him. Shoot! I can't afford to use normal things on this guy. I think I got him. Yes! Alright! Okay. I was afraid I was going to have to use... Uh, okay, put that there. I was, I was gonna have to use, like, Tangle Kelp or something. I still might on the pool area. I don't know if this will stop a pogo stick zombie. Shoot, he's right there. Okay, I can see him. It's going to be incredibly important to save as much money as humanly possible here. Because if it comes down to, like, a pogo stick jumping on one of these empty lanes, I have to try a squash. So if I can get through some of this, that would be great. keep as many of these going as possible. That's going to be the only thing that saves us. Plus, I think, I don't know if it's a, like, a distance type thing, or what it is, but I don't know if zombies can spawn where you have plants in the pool. So the further I get this filled up, theoretically, the more that would help me? I, I don't actually know. Don't quote me on that. It's just wishful thinking, probably. Something else in this row. I hear a bucket. I don't know where he is. Is he on the pool? I can't tell. I can't tell where he is. Bucket? Oh god. Is this where we fail? Yeah, I see him. Well, I see one down here. Oh, shite. Oh, thank god! 
I didn't know the puff shrooms could kill him in time. Oh, that is a huge godsend. I mean, we failed right here, though, which is very unfortunate, because I don't think this can do anything. I'm almost positive it can't attack air units, but we had to try. Okay, so we know pogo stick zombies will die via puff shrooms, and this is all just going to be luck at this point. Oh god, I knew there was going to be another one of these levels. Okay, well, we'll let the good times roll. Oh my god, okay, this all comes down to row two. Please, please, I can't watch, I can't. I can't, I can't watch. Please, please don't put anything on row two. Please, please. I don't care what happens at all right now. I don't think there's anything on row two. Is this it? Oh my god, I, I, okay, that's safe. He's fine. I'm still gonna try and kill him anyways, though. Okay, that'll take all of them. Yes! Thank you! I just need a second. Just, just one second. <sighs> okay. Let me just cross that off here. I mean, I guess that's not awful. That was attempt number five at this. So, fortunately for you guys, you're not going to see any of that middle crap. But my god, I'm so sick of doing that level over and over because you... You fail at the end. It's not like some way you fail in the beginning. You gotta wait all the way to the end to fail. <sighs> Man, there was one time in there where they didn't throw a balloon zombie at me right off the bat after the second flag. And I was like, okay, what's happening? And then in the middle of the second and third flags, it was like they threw two of them, and then a third one, and then the final wave hit, and it was all over. So, boy. That last level, though, I I used both of my kelp or seaweed or whatever the hell it's called. I can't think straight right now. I used both of those because as you're watching the video playback, which is the great part of me not cutting my actual victory run, there's a spot in there where I let one buckethead zombie go and i said okay based on previous attempts i think i can let you go and you won't do too much damage 
And he basically ate away all of my plants because my plan was, well, let's just plant behind him and he'll take out maybe one or maybe two in the middle of that. And he ended up taking just about everything out of that row. And I thought I was going to fail there. Um, so it was at that point that I switched over and said, okay, I'm going to use the kelp on the bucket heads in the pool lane because I cannot afford to either A, have a bucket head get through early on the water and use up my lawnmower, or B, have them eat away everything but die and then me not have enough to replace those back and just a normal guy gets through. Because without three, probably three at least, four to be safe of the sea shrooms, I don't even think a conehead would really get stopped without eating. Because a conehead can usually eat at least one or possibly at least chomp on a sea shroom, if not eat one whole sea shroom every time he comes by. So you got to have a bunch of those ready. But thank you for not throwing any more bucket heads at me because I was out of sun. And at that point, it was just randomness take me. I hope this is the one. So, oh, it feels so good to get that level out of the way. You have no idea. No idea. Because I knew there was at least one of those. I thought there was two with the completely random luck with the balloon zombies. But, my god. It's, it's so nice to get that out of the way. Whatever this is, I don't care. Because this is exactly the way the game is supposed to be played at this point. So... I, if I screw this up, it's just because I screw this up. It's not because I wasn't having any sun. So I... This will be a good break. A great break. And to be perfectly frank, I might just fast forward this. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and throw that down there and that down there. Because I know I have two guys on that row. But... Let's fast forward at least to the first flag, get this boring stuff out of the way. And we'll move on. Okay, well, we're basically done with this here, and it seems to be going pretty darn well. I don't... I actually wasn't paying attention. I, I meant to come back and start commentating before this, but... Oops! Oh, of course, I screwed the last one up. But that's how it goes. I didn't. So whatever. I don't know what these are for. Are there even any... 
digger zombies? Oh, yeah, there they are. Okay. There. There. And I can put one there. And one there. I don't know if there's any on that row, but... I'm gonna put them down. I'm gonna put them down! Oh, he still ate them. I tried. I tried. Did I put that on the right row? I don't know if I did. Yeah, I did. All right. Can I blow away the thunder and rain? <laughs> nope. Oh, they ate it. You ate it. Hey, stop that. Get him, cactus. Oh, I couldn't get it in time. There we go. Hey, look at that. Phew. Okay. Well, getting the catapults means we are on the final area here. They're on your roof. Oh boy, oh no. Yeah, well, I mean, first of all, before I forget in the next recording, I'm just going to go ahead and buy that now since I'm thinking about it. We don't have pots yet, so that's fine. As usual, the first couple levels will be pretty straightforward. Uh, but yeah, I don't... I mean, there's stuff in this this level that's going to be difficult, but nothing nothing as bad as the last level, I don't think. I'm trying to remember if there's even balloon zombies on this, on the roof. I don't actually remember, but as far as I know, there's nothing that's completely up to just random chance here. So it'll just be back to thinking again for whatever we can buy. I don't know what that's going to be yet. I guess we're just starting off with the, the cabbage bolt right now. I'm a firm believer. I don't know if it's going to work here. But I've always been a firm believer in the butter strategy. And I feel like... I don't know if that's going to work with so little sun, but I feel like if you can get three row or three columns, three columns of butter plants out, then the amount of butter that you get because it's random works in favor. And you feel like you have a constant stream of stopping zombies. So I don't know, I might try that. The kernel pulls a little bit weaker though, so that's the hard part. Until you can get at least two columns of them up. I feel like you're going to have a hard time. But for now, it's just cabbage pulse, so that's what it's going to be. At least we're done with the puff shroom strategy. I'm still going to bring them simply for stalling strategies to try and save my pots and whatnot. But we're done with the all puff shroom, all sea shroom levels. So thank you. Feels good. Feels real good. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, stay metal.